hello, Henry. What are you doing out with the morning dew? Just dropped in to check the blueprints. Some extras came in from rest this morning, and there are a couple of things I thought we ought to go over together. Really? What are they? Well, let's see. Uh, a few things here that are all right, I guess. Mortising five butts, dollar ninety-eight. Well, let's not quibble about it. A man's entitled to mortise a few butts now and then. Extra hardware, three dollars and eighty-nine cents. Petty last name, but let him get away with it. Now, there's one here that, frankly, I don't understand. Here we are. Changes in closet, $1,247. Did you authorize that? Well, we probably told him to... 1200 and what? $47, changes in closet. That's the end. What's this notation? Refer to detail sheet 135. What's that? As near as I can remember, that's something in back of the house. Let's take a look. Here we are. Well, it isn't a closet at all. It's, it's off the back pantry. Mrs. Branding's little flower sink. Oh, Mrs. Blanding's little flower sink. You didn't authorize any changes, did you? Well, they certainly weren't changes. What have you done? I haven't done anything. All I did was just nothing at all. What have you done? Well, all I did was one day I saw four pieces of flagstone left over from the porch that were just going to be thrown away because nobody wanted them. And I asked Mr. Wretch if he wouldn't just put them down on the floor of the flower room and poke a little cement between the cracks and give me a nice stone floor where it might be wet with flowers and things. That's absolutely all I did. That's all you did? Absolutely. Just four little pieces of flagstone. Uh, did you, by any chance, authorize a drain? Of course I didn't. All I said was that I wanted a nice, dry stone floor. And Mr. Wretch was just as nice as he could be and said, well, you're the doctor. And that was all that anybody said to anybody about anything. Uh, well, I think I can tell you what happened. First, the carpenters had to rip up the flooring that was already laid. Those planks run under the entire width of the pantry, so Wretch had to knock out the bottom of the pantry wall to get at them. Then, he had to chop off the top of the joist under the flower sink space to make room for the cradle. Or, I guess he got some iron straps and fastened them to a large pan to give him something to hold the cement. And then, with that added load on the weakened joist, I'll bet he had to put a lally column down there for support, too. Mm, I bet. But it was just four little flagstones, and I... Quiet! The main solar pipe runs under there on wall brackets. So Wretch had to get the plumber back, take out a section, so that he could get that cradle set. <laughs> and now Betty had to change the pitch of the soil pipe from one end of the house to the other. Good morning, Mr. Cole. Morning. Morning, Jeb. Morning, Jeb. Hello, Bill. And, of course, there are hot and cold water pipes hooked to the joist right under that pantry. They'd run to the wing bathroom on the second floor. I bet my bottom dollar... The bridge dollar was roped off and Bill had to stay too. here last night.